If you are in just finished with your 12th science exams and if you are wondering whether to pick a career in engineering or in science or within engineering or science or medicine, which particular field to go, uh, my general piece of advice is that go for a field in which you already have a question that through that you want to answer. Right? So it could be a question like how does the universe function the way it does or why is human life susceptible to particular forms of diseases. These are the questions that has to occupy you so much that there is no particular thing that has really interested you more than to answer them this within your lifetime. Now suppose you have roughly some questions which you want to answer and if you are interested in particularly pure sciences which is physics, chemistry, maths or biology then if you are in India uh, the options are that either you go for a state university which could be anything from Delhi University to JNU to Hyderabad University to Punjab University or you give uh, IIT JE, sorry JE and then you can go for the sciences in IIT or particularly the ISER, which is the Indian Institute for Science and Educational Research. They are meant for training students so that they become uh, scientists in the fields of pure sciences. Now once you are done with your bachelor's, then typically you go for an MSc if you had a 3 years degree. Once you are done with an MSc, you then have to apply for PhD. Uh, it is important to realize, understand that all PhD programs are typically 100% paid scholarships and you get some stipend for it. So they are like jobs. It takes about 3 to 6 years to finish your PhD depending whether you are doing it after masters or whether you are doing it in Europe or United States. Then you are, once you are done with your PhD, the next step is that you have to apply for something called a postdoctoral study where you are trying to become more independent researcher. After that you have typically a choice whether you want to join the academic route in which then you will apply to a university to become an assistant professor, then you will become an associate professor, then you will become a full professor. Or you could go and join national laboratories which could be like the BARC in India or Raja Raman Center for Advanced Technology in Indo. Once you pick those fields, uh, the careers in science are very rewarding. It provides you with enough academic freedom to pick the subjects that you are more interested in. Very rarely that you will find a day when you don't have anything to be occupied by. Another question that I've got from students is which field to pick sciences in? Like what is the hot field in science? All fields are equally uh, amazing, whether you pick number theory in mathematics or you pick biochemistry or you pick physics and then go for nuclear physics or astronomy. You have to have that one question that you want to answer in your lifetime or at least try to go closer to the answering that question. If you have that, then do not hesitate. Careers in sciences are typically not that expensive, you don't pay so much fees and beyond which are career you grow, do not pay any donation fee, not even one rupee of donation, whether you want to go for medical or engineering, try to go through government colleges, even if it seems a little too rigorous at the beginning. And some of you, um, after 12, uh, may not get to the colleges or universities that you are intending to go and are in dilemma that you should take a break or not always take a break there is no harm you are never gonna be left behind i took a break after my 12th i took a break after my bachelor's studies and i've never felt that i've been left out if you are having a summer and you want to learn a new skill regardless of any field of engineering or sciences you want to do try to learn programming languages this has been the central skill that i can rely on say that has helped me to become successful in my particular career and if you have any more questions regarding careers in science, uh, shoot an email, tweet, write as a comment. Uh, thank you and good luck.